Well, this is just a little follow-up to uh, Jim's thread on making a uh, Z drive using a gear system. I uh, wanted to have something more compact than a direct drive because the crank on the Z handle comes out quite a bit and the motor shaft then would add another three or four inches. So uh, I've used two pieces of angle iron that are bolted together at the top. There's a bottom strut that can be adjustable to keep it in proper alignment. And this angle iron on the left was simply bolted on top of the plate for the, the Z drive with the bearing surface coming through. I just used longer, I think they're M4 or M6 cap screws to capture this and hold it in place. The uh, power comes from a, a 30 amp um, AC-DC power unit and uh, I control it with a little uh, box with idiot lights and a momentary rocker switch. I uh, idiot proof things for myself because I don't like to have the machine on. So I uh, put a wall switch that has uh, solid copper coming from the uh, AC line and simply turn it on to power the unit with an idiot light. Then the little box will become activated with the idiot light showing and then uh, the momentary rocker switch. So uh, just to prove that it does work, we'll hit the up button and we're going up. We can also, of course, go down. And this, again, is constructed with gears that are made out of uh, flywheel starter gears from a Briggs & Stratton lawnmower engine. They're about a buck or so each. I glue two together. And the motor is a $19 special off of eBay that... Uh, I guess it's for a Volkswagen uh, Beetle. There's a plate missing, so for $65 you get the same thing with a plate on it. And uh, it works reasonably well. I'll put this uh, box someplace if I decide or leave it there and move it. And the, uh, the gear system is, is really uh, excellent and it works. And I'm uh, experiment now with experimenting with a gear drive for the table. I've taken the uh, end plate off constructed an aluminum box that will contain three gears. One gear for the motor, one gear for the table drive, and then in a movable idler gear that uh, when it's engaged you get table movement and you simply remove it or twist it up and you get uh, free uh, access of the table with the crank and the motor is disengaged. The um, setup I use again is just simply to take the piece of uh, end plate off the table, make uh, plywood uh, templates, and this is essentially a plywood template with the arbor shafts in place and the wiper motor mounted. But again, this uh, whole system here with the gears allows for a more compact organized unit. If you have plenty of room and you don't care, you can do direct drive, but I happen to like the gear setup that Jim uh, uh, fabricated and uh, posted here. Thank you.